Hello, I'm Dr. Barry Awe. I'm very happy to be sharing this information with you today. What you're going to see on this video is the accumulation of knowledge that has taken me over 23 years to put together. I was born a sickly kid. I had every system failure. My nervous system, digestive system, my endocrine and skin, uh, my respiratory system. And over the, over the course of my life, I went through every kind of treatment, both medical and natural, herbal, homeopathic, everything. And what I learned over, the, over those years was how the human body repairs itself. So I boiled it down to a very simple formula, and we're going to explain that in this video. I have a very simple goal. I just want to change the world. The way the world is right now, we're in the sickest, most depressed time of our life, and it has to do with the health of our human body. If we spread this message, we can change our country and bring our health up to the top. And we can therefore change our economy and we can change the world. All it takes is you watching this, learning it, doing it, and then sharing this tape. That's why we have brought this to you today. At this time, we're going to have the information about your body, how it self repairs. Our speaker has over 9,000 patients. He's been a biological medicine specialist for all these years. He has many other types of credentials to including being a chiropractor, acupuncturist, and many other designations as well. He is a student of life and the body and how it works. I give you Dr. Barry Aw. Would you join me in welcoming him? Thank you, Charles. All right, uh, I'm gonna charge my brain. All right, does everybody like how fancy I look, all doctory? <laughs> thank you, thank you, good. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, now, what I wanna talk to you about, this is gonna be like, how to fix your body for dummies. I'm gonna dumb it down real easy. This is gonna be show and tell. All right, your body knows how to repair everything. If your bones are weak, your body knows how to regrow them. If your muscles are wasting away, joints are breaking down, your internal organs are falling apart, you got things going wrong with you, there's no incurable disease. There is a point of no return there's permanent damage, but if you get to anything wrong with a system going in here, if you get to it in time, do the right things, your body can repair it. So I'm going to explain it, and this is all you need for your body to repair itself. You ready? Get this. A surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment. A surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment and your body will repair everything. So I'm gonna explain what that means. We're gonna look at the slides, two cadavers here. We have one unhealthy specimen and one more healthy specimen. What you're gonna see a difference in here on the inside, this is the liver. Look how clean that is. Look how dirty this liver is. Look at how clean this part of the intestine is. Look at the blackened stomach and pancreas and spleen. Look how high the diaphragm has pushed up around that heart. Look at the, the buildup in the bowel. This is mucoid plaque that builds up within the walls of the bowel and can't be flushed out, must be drawn out. Look at the bladder being crushed. Look at how filthy the omentum is. That's where a, a majority of your immune system is compared to this one. Although this healthier specimen has a lot of buildup also. Now, I want you to pay attention to this shape right here, including the brain. That's inside the body, okay? Everything outside of this cavity is external, outside of the body, especially the body's Tupperware fat. Now your fat cells can engorge many times their size with toxins and acids. So, the inside of the body must be kept a perfect way. It must be kept alkaline at an exact pH, and it must be kept hydrated, and it must be toxin-free. Otherwise, 
the critical internal organs start to die. So what the body does is throws that stuff outside. And then when you need something to neutralize all those poisons and acids, when you're not eating what your body needs to go, guess what it turns to? Raw human flesh. Mmm, delicious. Your body loves raw human flesh. It'll even eat the bones. Look down here. This is a heavier person. This should be bigger leg muscles and bigger leg bones. This person has cannibalized, the word is catabolism, the breakdown of complex structures into absorbable nutrients for rebuild. This person was so toxic and so acidic that in order to save her life, perpetuated as much as she did, she had to live on her tissues. Look how thin that bone is compared to here. Look at there's no muscle here compared to here. Now, here's the news, not just her. Every one of you, all along, right now even, you're catabolizing your own healthy tissues because you can't supply enough good on an American diet. This water machine, and this is why you will want one before you leave, and you won't want to drink another sip of anything without at least adding this to it. Because when you understand this principle, you understand that every part of your life depends on putting back in or you're eating yourself alive. So how many of you are old enough, body-wise? How many of you have fallen far enough apart and would like to stop it? <laughs> Would anybody like to get fatter and older and more crippled? No. Yeah. How would you like to stop it in its tracks right now and actually reverse it a, a good bit? You saw the picture of uh, Mr. Oshiro that invented this machine and his business partner. Well, he was drinking this water for 35 years. And I think everybody would agree he looked every bit of 40. It looks like he just stopped aging while his business partner over in America couldn't get access to this water. He continued to age like we expect and see people aging. Well, humans in America are aging and falling apart much faster than they ever did before in history. So we got to know why are you falling apart and how to stop it. This machine is the critical answer. What this will supply is a surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment. This is the most important thing you need to stop falling apart and repair your body. Nutrition plays its part, but you'll see that nutrition has a nice, small, easy little part. This is critical. All right, there's me, 37 years of doing everything I knew as I learned, eating healthy, organic, juicing, doing colonics, taking lots of high-grade supplements. This is right after a triathlon. And this poor guy was still dealing with chronic respiratory and allergy stuff. Uh, had a lot of mental and hormonal issues, trouble with uh, learning disability and attention deficit and stress and anxiety and worry and bad sleep. Anybody have any of that? Look at the muscle tissue here on a triathlete. Not very good. The bloating here is because of all my life of digestive problems. My insides didn't work. My knees were bad. I tore my first ligaments when I was a little kid and I had a ruptured disc 15 years before this so I had pain every morning when I got up and it was a routine to get my back going. So this is four years ago, when I, or actually now five years ago, when I was younger and healthier, right? This is a couple of months ago. This is after I discovered power to change. Yeah, you want to see? <laughs> this is what you can do, and your, your diet and exercise and nutrition is going to be actually smaller part of the puzzle, and this is going to be the answer. This is the magic. This is actually the month I got the machine. And uh, you can see I was still 32 waist and kind of pushing over the edge. Uh, muscle tone still bad. Allergies and, and sinus stuff and respiratory stuff 
constant. So I had to take lots of natural things and I had to be on a real special diet to keep it from constantly bothering me. I could manage it and it was a lot better than managing it with drugs, which I did my whole young life, but it was a lot of work. I was a high maintenance guy. Knees still hurt, back still hurt, hormone issues, digestive problems. Now, the reason I show this picture is because that's right up to 41 years. That's everything I knew. And I was helping people, teaching people how to reverse disease in their body for a good 17 years by then. I could get people to come to my clinic that had been let go by medicine. They had done everything, all the treatments, and they were sent home to die. And I could help those people back to health. You don't know your potential until you apply these principles. So this was the month I got the machine, and this next picture is four months later. Pow! That's me. That's real. Sinuses, gone. No more allergies. Ever since that point, now I started drinking the water, my nose ran like a faucet. Phlegm came out of my throat. My tongue was coated. My ears had extra earwax. My hair itched. My skin itched. I was going to the bathroom 20 times a day. Most of you would be scared and say, that water's scary, I'm running away. When you understand how your body works, you're gonna love that. And if any of you are drinking the water and trying it and you're not experiencing that, you're not drinking enough. You wanna drink it until stuff happens. Now, I purposely stopped exercising because I saw the results immediately in what it was doing to my body and remember that catabolism, that cannibalism? You can push it the other way. You can make your body go eat the bad stuff. How would you like to turn your body and say, hey, go eat this lump of fat here. Get it out of me. Get this toxin out of my brain so my brain works right. That's what you can do. So this is a person in four months that wiped out 41 years of allergies, have not had an allergy since. I go out in the pollen and mow the lawn. I used to have to wear a mask. I get dust blown in my face. One big sneeze, gone. No more. The joints, my knees are smooth like silk. My back, I wake up, there's no pain. How did that go away? I thought it was scar tissue. thought it was permanent. That's what everybody told me. But my body didn't know. Body went and ate whatever was wrong in there, rehydrated the tissues. The muscles swelled up with no exercise. The muscles were always there. Look at the cadaver again. Sorry. All right. Look at this. If this person ate away all that fat layer, see, they'd be ripped. It's there. All that you got muscles under there somewhere. I was working out for 41 years. I had lots of muscles. I just couldn't see them because of the winter coat over the top of them. Okay? So this is, this is within every one of your grasp. Sorry, going the wrong way again. Everybody could look like that. All right, ladies. This is my lovely wife. Uh, age 37, right here. And after our fourth child, and he was six here. That's a little Jaybird. And she was in a size 14, and, you know, it was past the pregnancy weight, okay? He's six. Um, <laughs> she couldn't lose it. The more she dieted, the heavier her legs got. The more she starved herself, the thicker her legs got. Her whole legs all the way down were puffy. That's where she stored everything. From the top up, she looked really great, but she was not happy with herself, and you know, that brings, when you're not happy with yourself, you get ready in the morning, and you look at yourself in the mirror, you're not happy. And that works on your brain. Let me show you her results. That's four months applying what I discovered. A surplus of energy in a hydrated alkaline environment. Now this is not easy to do. You can't just say, oh, I'm drinking some and it didn't work. You gotta drink enough. You gotta control not undoing it. And we'll talk about that more. But there's results for the ladies. She went from size 14 to a size 8. Cut her sizes in half. And her bowel, for the first time, started working. Constipation of whole life. That's why she got colon cancer when she was in her early 20s. Guess how she got rid of her colon cancer? 
She changed her diet. She ate only raw food. She was juicing raw green vegetables. She did colonics. She took good nutrition. And guess what? Her body ate that cancer out of her. Not a single medical treatment. That's what your body can do. Only the human body can heal itself. No doctor can. No nutrition can. That don't. Your body does it. This just helps get things in the right condition for it to happen. Surplus of energy, hydrated, alkaline environment. Her bowel starts working, her mood improved. She started to want to exercise. How, about, how would you like to wake up and just want to go running somewhere? How would you like to sleep soundly all the way through in the same position? Lay down as soon as your head hits the pillow, you're asleep. You wake up eight hours later without an alarm clock, you feel great and you want to go live life. That's the difference between a clean, healthy body and a toxic, burdened, breaking down body. All right, this is the American way. Everybody knows this guy, the governator. And uh, this is what we don't get to see, or this is what we don't focus on. This is how that kind of American way of all the meat and the working out and who can keep that up living in the gym. And this is what happens from pouring in all that poison wrong food and letting your body be destroyed. He catabolized, he ate his muscles. Now when you eat your muscles and neutralize and take the good, there's a waste that must be stored on the outside and that's the saggy, baggy, hangy stuff, okay? This is poison, it's acidic, it must be stored outside of that internal body cavity. Everybody knows this guy. He is a great example of catabolism. He ate him whole self gone. Okay, somebody made his day. Look at the, you know why he's so ornery? He ate it all, there's nothing left. It's, it's all this melting, he looks like a melting candle. This is one of my great heroes, Jack LaLanne. Built his body naturally without drugs, just super exercise. And, you know, for about 90 years, he's been preaching health and nutrition. And he's a chiropractor, too, and, uh, and exercise. And he's always talking about raw, fresh, live stuff. And, you know, he invented his own kind of juicer. And he's a big proponent of getting raw, live stuff. Why raw stuff? Raw stuff has energy. When you cook it, it's dead. When you buy old stuff, it's dead. When you store your food, it's dead. You have got to have life. This is him at age 73, much older than the picture of the governor. And look at the shape he's in. He could knock him out at age 73. This is another example. Now imagine these guys. 35 years ago, before the machine is invented, they were same age, looked the same, you know, buddies, associates, probably on a very similar diet. He starts rehydrating, supplying energy in an alkaline environment. This guy can't. He's over here in the U.S. fighting our bureaucracy, trying to get something healthy into our country. Well, they fought it for 32 more years. We just got this thing in here. Why does our country fight stuff like that? Who's in charge? Amen. But right now, you can make that choice. Because 35 years from now, you're either going to look one way or you're going to look another way. Some of you might be in a box. <laughs> All right. There's the Hunza book. Get that book and read it. It tells about the world's healthiest, oldest living people. That's what we were talking about. Alkalize or Die, an excellent book. But this is the book I want to focus on right now, Pottinger's Cats, one of the greatest nutrition studies done ever on human health, ever. Get this book and read it all the way through. Here it is, Reader Digest version. Took a group of cats, fed them raw meat and raw milk. Another group cooked meat and cooked milk. This is back in the 30s, 30s and 40s. Now, of course, everything was organic because there wasn't the poisons back then, okay? So we're talking the exact same meat and milk, dead. What's the only difference? No energy, no electricity, 
Remember those pictures with the sparks, the curly in photography? So he proved that the energy was the key component. Now, this group of cats, generation after generation, super healthy mountain lion looking things. They had regular litters of all the cats looking the same, same size health and grew the same. They were uniform. They just kept being super healthy. This group on the dead food got every single thing going wrong with their bodies that humans get wrong. Their eyes, their ears, their nose and throat and brains, their internal organs, their external bodies. Everything started to break down on the exact same nutritious food. It was dead. They had no access to energy. Every system broke down. Their next generation of offspring were sicker, sicklier, smaller, mangier, hair falling out, more things going wrong. They started to get sick and die. By the third generation, some of the kittens were being born with cancer. Born with cancer. And two-thirds of them were unable to reproduce. So he took the one-third of sickly, mangy little creatures that could barely go and put them on to a raw food diet and they started to get healthier again. All he did was he put back in the energy. They started to repair themselves. The next generation of offspring was healthier. Third generation, so it took three generations to breed back out those genetic diseases they were handing down. But those cats at the end of those three generations had never gotten back up to the level of health that the original cats had. So you got to ask yourself, if you say, man, I got things going wrong with me and I eat so healthy and I do so much, maybe you're a third generation Pottinger cat. And you, that's what I am. And that's why my whole life has been high maintenance. I got to do a lot. So you can think of me as like the canary in the coal mine. You know, they put a canary down there to see if he died. See if it was safe for humans. Well, if something works for me, if you're not, if you haven't had the hard life I have, being born sick and having stuff my whole life, every system shutting down, and my wife getting cancer at such an early age, if you're not like that, this is going to be even more wonderful for you. But I'm telling you, that was a lifeline for me. So that's what real raw food looks like. But guess what? At the grocery store, some of those apples were picked last year. In the organic stores. Organic stores, we did it. We didn't shop there. It was more expensive. We just buy regular food. No, you got it all mixed up. We are all organic farmers throughout history till a few years ago when they invented these poisons and they figured out it was a way to cheat and get more profit and make things cheaper and put more food in a smaller spot and produce more and lose less, okay? We had the guy with the black cape and the mustache and the black hat and he said, this is the way to do it. So now we call that regular conventional food and organic is like this hippie weirdo term. We gotta flip it around. Organic food is real food and it costs what it should cost to run a farm and produce food. The stuff we're living on is cheapo plastic. So when you buy an apple from a regular grocery store, it doesn't have any of that shiny energy in it. But because we didn't shop at the organic stores and they all started going broke, they had to flip over and start cheating too. It's the only way they could survive. So it is slightly better at the organic store and it's worth every bit of your trouble and effort and money to go there but I'm telling you, you can't just eat healthy. It's not possible to eat healthy in America anymore. We take a lesson from the Romans. 2,000 years ago, they forged an alliance with Egypt because their soldiers could no longer march all day on food from Rome. 2,000 years ago, they realized this. We eat this food, it's not giving us the mojo. We get the food from Egypt and we're like, woohoo, we got our strength back. So they started marriages and treaties and trading to get their food. Now, how many of you could march all day long on American food? The energy of this water, we can measure with a meter. It's called, it's called an ORP meter, oxidation reduction potential meter, but it measures millivolts of energy. 
The average number we get is between 700 and 800 millivolts of energy. The best food you can find, if you get sprouts, especially if you grow them yourself, eat them or juice them immediately and measure them, that's about 200 millivolts. 800 or 200? How many sprouts can you eat? At only one-fourth the power. How much water can you drink? I can teach you how to easily get in two gallons of Kangen water per day. Easy. I got a little 14-year-old girl, thin little thing, less than 100 pounds. She can drink two gallons. It's just a matter of understanding how to do it. There, we don't understand our potential. Look at this. Raw piece of meat, 30 seconds on the grill. Look how much you lost. Raw tomato, 30 seconds. That's a hamburger. Now the only little spark you see, that's from the piece of lettuce on that burger. <laughs> so you're getting dead cat food when you eat your burger. It should be looked at as a pleasure food for your mind only, not as nutrition. Stop fooling yourselves. One definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. In America, we have been doing the same thing over and over. Eating our four food groups, our meat and our potatoes and our milk and all this stuff, and our health has gone down the toilet as fast as a rocket. We're the most unhealthy nation on earth, industrialized nation, the most unhealthy. There's 37 industrialized nations. Guess what number we are? 72. We're more unhealthy than people that don't even have technology. We buy the most drugs, we're the most unhealthy. Hmm. We eat the most calories, we eat the most animal products. Hmm. Should we change? No. We get something wrong, run to the drugstore. We listen to science trying to tell us these milligrams of protein you're supposed to eat. How did people know before we knew what milligrams were? How to be healthy? I can't be healthy. I don't know how many milligrams of this plant to eat. We need to stop doing what we've been doing. If you understand how the FDA classifies drugs, every single drug, including children's baby aspirin, cough syrup, eye drops, every single one is admittedly a poison. They test it on rats and the way you get the human dose is what kills between 500 and 1,000 rats. LD50, LD100. So how lucky do you feel taking your medicine? It's like click, <laughs> click. Awesome, I'm still alive. Click. What's the number one cause of death in America? People mistakenly think it's the heart disease, the cardiovascular, or the cancer. You know what it is? It's taking all these drugs. It's impossible to study drug interaction in a human body. There's never been a study of two drugs working together. They test whether they're toxic towards each other, but everybody knows. You watch the commercials, it's all over the commercials, those side effects. But you know what they've done? They've desensitized us. They run that stuff so constant that we hear we don't care anymore. That was on purpose. They want us not to care. This is a raw mushroom. That's a raw mushroom. Organic, not organic. It makes a difference, bugs and pesticides. All right, healthiest food you can eat is something that's growing right up till you eat it. The only thing healthier would be if you ate a plant while it's still rooted. Okay, start eating the apple while it's on the tree. It's still plugged in. Once you pick it, it's dying. This water, once you pour it, it's dying. You can't preserve life. When you separate it from the source, it's dying. So this is plugged into the wall. Electricity being imparted into that water, breaking it apart. When you break apart molecules, you produce energy. You want to just pour this right into your mouth. Go, ah, like that. That's the best thing. But second best, pour it in a glass and chug it. Don't carry it around with you. Don't sip it. This is chugging water. This is the way I used to help people. 
And this is $25 worth of organic greens. And that makes about a half gallon of juice. And you need a gallon a day, so you need $50 worth of organic greens to repair your body. You can get a gallon of this for like a tenth of a penny. Anybody that says this is expensive does not understand life. They don't understand what your body needs. This is the cheapest miracle you'll ever buy. If you leave here and don't get one, your brain's not working right. You need more of this in your brain because this is it. This is what it looks like, and that's that cloud, and that's the highest potential of energy. If we put that meter in right away when it's poured, very high level, almost 800 millivolts, every minute and hour that passes by, we're losing that energy. If you seal it in a glass container, it still has some energy four days later. But it's hard enough to pour all that water in for Americans. Americans don't like to drink. Why would you waste your time pouring in old, tired, dying water? Get a machine, pour it in, chug it. This is the pH scale, and the reason it stops at 4 and 10 is because be, below that or above that, it doesn't change color anymore. So this is where we deal with mostly. This center line is where your body is, okay? So 7.0, which is right on the edge of this, that's exactly neutral. Same amount of acid as alkaline. Everything below 7.0 is acid. Everything above 7, like 7.1, is alkaline. The human body is 7.4. We are alkaline. Acid kills us. Got it? The last stage of death, regardless of what you die of, most of the time is the blood going acidic. You have a heart attack, your body fails, your blood goes acidic, you're dead. If you, you got kidney failure, you had a horrible accident, your blood goes acidic, you're dead. If your body can recover that, you can live on. It is possible to go too alkaline if you're exposed to some kind of chemical like lye or bleach ingested, go too alkaline and die. But if your blood goes out of this teeny tiny little range, you're toast. Got it? So 7.4 is exactly perfect. 7.39 is as low as you can go. 7.41 is as high. That's two hundredths of a pH point. Your body is constantly working and eating yourself to keep it there. Got it? It's happening all the time. Right now, you're all eating some of your muscles and your bones and the enamel off your teeth. And you're eating away at that nice alkaline brain. Pouring this water stops it. I'm going to explain how. If you go, if you're at 7.4, all 87 hormones are firing as they should. All of your body systems working as they should. If you go slightly off that, like 7.3986429, you know, there's, there's a, a big range in there. Even though it's two hundredths, when we get into the thousandths and ten thousandths, you know, there's a, actually a, quite a big range. And the further you go off that range, the sicker your cells are. The more your body starts to not function right, like those cats that started to fall apart everywhere. Got it? So if you hit 7.39, you slip into a coma. If you go just below 7.39, dead. So if you look at this circle, that's our historical diet. That's what God gave us to live on. Wasn't that neat that all the food and water he put around us was right around our blood? What a quinky dink. Okay? When has everybody heard of acid rain? This is what it actually means. Rainwater used to be 8.9. Now, rainwater collected today, 6.2. For every number you move over, that's 10 times 10. So, 10, 100. Since it's the opposite scale to the other, we're talking about almost a thousand times more acidic than it used to be. I collected snow up in South Carolina a few days ago, and it was 6.2. We got acid snow, too. Okay? Why has that happened? In industrialized worlds, with all these chemicals that we have and pumping into the air, it mixes, it binds with the H2O and can no longer be separated. The estrogen, the plastics, the gasoline, the bleach that binds to the hydrogen of the H2O 
And no matter how you filter it, even distilling it, even evaporating up into a cloud and being rained down, there's still estrogen in your rain. How many of you think you should be taking a little estrogen every day? You shouldn't. When you run water through an electric field, it not only breaks that H2O apart and the drug bound to the hydrogen gets broken away, but also those drugs get broken apart. So this company got an award from one of the top environmental companies in the world, organizations in the world, because the wastewater coming out of this can be digested by Earth again. So we're putting clean water back into the environment, the first clean water. Does everybody know how water works? We drink it, we use the bathroom, the bathroom flushes to the treatment plant, they poison it, filter out the paper and the dead frogs, they throw it back out in nature. And then they expect nature to digest it. Then we get water from an aquifer and then we filter it again, treat it with chemicals, send it back to us. What's happened is we've introduced thousands, 75,000 chemicals that our grandparents didn't have to live with. Okay, we've saturated nature and these chemicals have bound to the water and can't be separated. The only way to separate them is through an electric field and it has to be a strong electric field. That's why only this company makes a machine that can do it. Oh, well, there's a lot of knockoffs out there claiming they're doing the same thing, but guess what? No body changes, no health changes. Oh, wait, let me take that back. Worse health because when you use cheap parts, you get heavy metals, you get toxins into your body. I'll explain more of that later. So, all of our food and water has moved this way and now our modern diet is this. 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 times more acidic than your blood. Let's take a typical example of something 100,000 times more acidic than your blood. Anybody like fresh Florida orange juice? Go to the store, get your orange juice that's probably been sweetened with corn, corn syrup, pasteurized to concentrate the sugars. Drink some of that 100,000 times more acidic than your blood. Guess what your body has to do? I need to eat solid bone to neutralize that orange juice. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Hope you enjoyed the orange juice. Okay? Give it up. If you pick an orange fresh from a tree and it falls off in your hand, you didn't have to carve it off or burn it off with a stick like they do these days. If it fell off in your hand, you juice it immediately and drank it, that would be better. Old timey oranges or oranges in Costa Rica are in the high sixes, just slightly acidic. Oranges today, the best one you can pick right out here in Florida is a four. A lot less bad, but once you make it in the juice, pasteurize it, put it in a store, you might as well be drinking Coca-Cola. Okay, so healthy person puts this in, body becomes acidic, you start to slip into a coma, body has to, these, there's the pH scale, these are alkaline tissues, you have to eat, you got your choice on the menu today, bones, muscles, ligaments and tendons, internal organs, oh and of course if you had any good hydrated fluids of the right pH you could use those. This is what Americans are doing every day. This is what changes people into old people. You eat yourself alive and then you store the waste out here. These are the acidic tissues. Now, let's go back. What if you poured in something on the opposite side? 10, 100, 1,000 times more alkaline than your body We've nicknamed it the remedy, magical Kangen water. What if you did that? You pour it in, your blood starts to go too alkaline, you're going to slip into a coma and die. If your body didn't do what your body does, your body says, all right, I need some acid to neutralize this immediately. Guess what? Everything you don't want in your body is acid. How great. Does anybody want to keep the acid fat? You know, there is alkaline fat, there's good fat. like the women's breasts or the fat in your brain, that's alkaline. You don't have to worry about that. The fat that, that coats our skin, coats our cells, that's the good kind. You'll only eat the acid fat. Do you know cellulite? There's no alkaline cellulite. It's all bad. That's, that's why it dimples is that fatty contraction. 
Joint crystals, we used to think those were calcium deposits. Those are actually acidic salts. They have calcium in them, but it was because it was so acidic and the kidney said, I gotta store this uric acid somewhere, so I'll, I'll bind it with the calcium stored in the joints. How would you like to clean out all your joints? Make them smooth and silky again. Stones, kidney stones, uh, gall stones, liver stones, cancer cells, like uh, Dr. Warburg showed, every cause of cancer. The, the root cause is, is the cell being bathed in acid. So another word for a cancer cell is an acid eater. Your cells eat oxygen in an alkaline environment. When they are starved, they're, put, they're dropped in an acid environment. They have no choice but to turn to eating acid. And then they grow and spread like a cancer. So if you starve them, don't give them any more acid, guess what happens? Shrinkage. Tumors, cysts. A cyst is the body walling off that acid pocket. Every cyst and bump you have is a storage of acid. Toxins and drugs, they're all acidic. This is what the human body really looks like. Okay, this is, a, this is actually an animal though. Um, but it should be, this particular cut should be solid meat. It should be solid, healthy muscle tissue. But we, we feed the animals this on purpose because the rippling of the fat makes it taste better. But this is what we're doing to us too. We're pouring in so much acid that the body has no choice but to push it out everywhere it can. So it creates fat pockets, storage. If you do it enough, there's gonna be a big tumor there. There's gonna be a cyst there. It's gonna turn cancerous. Does everybody understand this? It's not rocket science. This is exactly how your body works. Now here's what goes wrong, and this is what makes people perpetuate the wrong thing. As soon as you don't keep feeding that acid, as soon as you go long enough without putting more poison in, these little pockets want to drain out and come out. And they drain out and they make you feel horrible. You go a little while without pouring in your poison, oh, I'm starting to feel, oh, I feel, I need, I need uh, caffeine, I need a steak, I need uh, french fries, I need crackers, I need something, okay? You're wanting to keep those poisons at bay. That's what you're doing. It's not your blood sugar going low. Here's the proof. You put in the proper thing and you feel that horror coming faster. You feed yourself only alkaline, you live on the highest potency, highest nutrition food, sprouts. If you ate only sprouts, you're gonna feel terrible. Okay, but it's supplying every one of your blood's needs. It's, it's a complete food. Protein, carbs, fats, vitamins, and minerals. It's in an alkaline environment. It's got high energy. That's everything your body needs. So why does it make you feel horrible? It pushes those poisons out fast. So if you're drinking this and you don't feel bad, you're not drinking enough. Go through the bad. Nurse it along as, you know, whatever level you're at. You can do it as slow as you want or as fast as you want. You want to be careful. You want to work with a professional, if you're really sick, you don't want to let those poisons out too fast. You can get really, really in a bad shape and get kind of come out and stuck because you can't keep up. So work with a professional if you're really sick and weak. Look at that close up. Everywhere, this is supposed to be solid. This, it just, I mean, it's, there's fat everywhere throughout here. Delicious. There's uh, Otto Warburg again, cancer tissues are acidic. Look at this, now healthy tissues are alkaline. So any cell, any tissue that's not alkaline cannot be healthy, that's it. It's, think of our cells as little fish swimming in the water. We're all water, think about a 200 pound man uh, after uh, cremation, a little pile of dust. That's the only part that's not water. Okay, so we're a big swimming pool or a pond, and all those cells are fish. And when that water gets bad, the fish die and they float on the top. That's exactly what he's saying. So even if you don't have cancer, from healthy to cancer is everything else. If you change your environment, supply just the basic nutrients in that environment, supply that energy, it all reverses. There he is again, the man. You can choose to age that way. This is my wife, when she had the colon cancer and we changed our diet, went 100% raw food and juicing, oh man, it was so hard. Can you imagine living on not a single warm thing through the winter months and everything? 
So as soon as the big scary mass of cancer had been eaten away by her human body, guess what we did? We didn't keep up with all that raw food. That's tough. But we started eating our American poison delicious food. We wanted some oatmeal and brown rice and you know maybe a potato or something. And uh, then next thing you know, we're having pizza and nachos and steak. And it's delicious. But here's the problem. We didn't carry out the healing process long enough, so she had a very bloated and slack and lazy bowel. Her bowel was actually seven feet long. You'll find this when people are very sick, their bowel is starving and it will grow and spread out trying to create new bowel to try to get some nutrition in. And we clog it up with gravy and cheese and we make it so it's suffocating, so it grows. Her bowel, a normal bowel is three feet, hers was seven feet, okay? And look at this section of bowel should be about this big around. That's about five times as big. So because of that, when she ate, she got very tired and sluggish and wanted to go to bed. So she didn't eat breakfast and lunch. She would just drink her lemon water. It was a big deal if I got her to eat half a grapefruit. Remember what I said, your body's producing acid all day long, every day, every second. Anytime there is an action of a cell, burning of ATP, acid is the waste, like exhaust. So, if you're not putting in something alkaline, you're producing acid all day, even if you're not putting anything in. So your blood's going acidic, you're starting to die, your body has to go eat muscles and bones. Got it? So, here's my wife, not eating. This is through the lower bowel and pelvis. This is the hip bone that comes around to the side. There's the buttocks. The light gray is muscle. The dark charcoal gray is fat and cellulite and toxins. That muscle should go all the way out to the edge and there should be a thin layer of fat all around it. So when she was skipping eating, her body never skipped a meal. Her body had rump roast and some bone. Look, look how thin this bone is. Look at that one. This is a 32-year-old girl. What do all of your buttoxes look like on a CT scan? Because even though starving yourself can make you fatter, here's what happens. Remember this, okay? She's starving herself, eating one organic meal per day at nighttime, okay? Always a raw salad, always organic food, but because she was acidic, she ate the muscle and bone, brought it in here, neutralized the acid, then there's waste products stored out here. She's eating one healthy meal a day and getting fatter on her butt and hips <coughs> and her legs, totally coated. What would be worse? What if she had been putting acid stuff in? You know, yogurt, old-timey yogurt, the stinky, smelly, nasty taste and stuff, that used to be alkaline. Today's yogurt is ice cream. Come on. It is so acidic. All the things we eat, everything you eat except for raw green vegetables is acid. So you're eating your butt and uh, bones even faster than she was. So how do you stop it? You put in a surplus of energy which you get from raw food, but you get 400 times as much from here. You got to keep your body in an alkaline environment. If you're alkaline, your body has to eat the bad stuff. You will block muscle loss. Let me go back to this picture real quick. When I lost three inches of fat storage off of my waist, where I could never lose it, no matter how much I dieted, I still had that pot there and those haunches. No matter all the, I mean, juice fasting diets, extreme exercise, the colonics, the raw food diet, I could never lose that. And I was losing my muscle all the time. Every time I dieted, people would start saying, your face and neck, and you're just too thin, you look bad. I'm like, thank you, I'm trying my best. You look horrible, did, did people tell you that ever? I had that so much. Oh, you look horrible. Okay, yeah, I better not diet anymore. But I wanted to lose the fat and toxin here, and I could not. So when I got something actually powerful enough, finally, I lost it all, lost all that junk inside, but that muscle grew. Three inches of fat and toxin puffiness off the middle, four millimeters of growth of the muscle. That's not a lot, but four months of zero exercise, the muscle grew. Show me any bodybuilder in the world that can do that. Only in Hunza they could do that. Okay, if a bot, that's why bodybuilders live in the gym, because they stop for even a few days, they notice loss. 
because they're constantly eating it. So I'm teach what I'm telling you right now, you can stop losing any more muscle. No more if you drink enough of this. Does that sound good? How about no more bone loss? How would you like to live to 100 and you're stronger? The last time I was this size, last time I was in 29 waist and the same size shoulders was when I was 17 years old and I'm 30 pounds heavier now. So when you start drinking this water, if you start using this scale, you're going to get scared. Oh no, I'm getting heavier. You should rejoice in that. I love being 30 pounds heavier in this tight little frame. I'm solid. I fell out of a tree five feet and landed on the middle of my back on a picket fence. And I didn't get hurt. I hopped off. I was like, huh, tomorrow I'm going to be crippled. I got up tomorrow. The next day, I didn't even notice it. I was taking off my shirt. And my wife said, oh, what happened to your back? Got all gouged up. I was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. I should be crippled. I didn't even notice it. I feel like a car could hit me and I would just bounce off and get up and dust myself off. Be a little dent in the car. That's what you want. You, you want to be solid. So who cares if you weigh 250 pounds if you look how your body should look? So that's the last thing I want to say, but I do want to tell you about the plates because it's all the difference in the world. This guy invented the machine. He found what was necessary to reproduce the water in Hunza that had the results. Okay? It wasn't what machine could we make. It was reproduce the water that has worked for thousands of years. Okay? He found it took a 230 watt motor. It took seven eighth inch thick, five by seven inch medical grade titanium plates. <coughs> Titanium's toxic to us. So it must be dipped and totally coated in surgical grade platinum. Surgical grade platinum does not break down. You run an electric charge through that for 20 years, you're not going to get any heavy metal poisoning. They use a transformer to get a constant energy flow. Because of the bigness of this company, they can buy thousands of dollars worth of metal and put it into this machine for half of that. So there's over $4,000 worth of precious metals and, and equipment in here, not to mention a little computerized woman that's in there telling you everything. She's so nice. It's nice to hear her every morning. But these other knockoff companies come along. Their only way that they could compete is on price. And you can't make a machine with enough energy and enough metal to create that split and produce true Kangen water. So not another single one of them is producing Kangen water. They're producing ionization at some level. But it's not enough to make the changes that will change your health. So I'm not going to belabor this, but don't buy a knockoff. The, these are the size motors. The next biggest one is like 100 to 150 watts compared to 230. Now they know what works. Why don't they use it? They can't afford to put quality and still make a profit. These guys are putting, they're making their machines out of bubble gum and uh, scotch tape. And what happens with these little mesh screen plates, why do you use a mesh screen? Because you punch those holes out, melt that metal, you can make a million of them. You can make 118 of those plates out of one of ours. But what happens with those cheap little plates and that little motor, and nobody else uses a transformer, they use a, they use a SMPS which shuts itself off. That means you're going to get overheating of those plates, warping, cracking, platinum and titanium toxicity in you. We've heard stories of people bleeding out of their eyes, going blind, being paralyzed. Heavy metal poison is one of the worst things you'll ever deal with. And that's what happens from using a knockoff. So don't use a knockoff. At this point, I'm going to do part of the demo, show you the energy. All right, this is the water fresh out of the machine. And you're going to see 700 millivolts, 700 plus millivolts. Now, can you see that cloud of energy? Look at that cloud. Now, as we're going here, you're going to see that that water is starting to clear from the bottom up. So we're losing the highest potential of that energy. That's why you want to consume it as soon as it comes out of the machine. So that's going from 750 millivolts down to 725, 700, you know, right before our eyes. 
If we seal it, because right now all that active energy is fixing the air. It's purifying the air right now. We want it in us, purifying us. But if I seal it in this glass, it'll hold that energy, like I said, at a decreasing amount over four days. Did we get good on that? Yep. All right. So now I'm going to show you. So again, for those of you that didn't see, that was a negative. Negative is how electrons are donated. Energy has a negative charge. So a high negative is good on this. What we're going to show you with these, what's this one? Tap water or is this congen water? Yes, yes, yes. This All right, tap. so that's tap water. We're going to start with uh, tap water. So it's impossible for any standing water to have a negative electrical charge. It just can't happen. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because they're all going to be bad. If it was a one, this is an oxidative meter. That means that that substance going in steals energy from you, steals it, okay? Only something with a high negative charge could donate energy to you. If we can measure the sun, it's donating energy to us. Fresh air at the beach or out in the woods has a lot of negative electrons. That's why you feel better there. This indoor air has almost no electricity. You go out and breathe right next to a tree. If you can get away from the cars, you're getting some negative electrons. So we want negative, we want electricity in us. You get it? All right, so this is tap water, 600. Now that's oxidative. It's a positive charge, which means that's going to, if it was a one, it would steal from us, making you older, tireder, sicker, more broken down. Only a negative would give to you and rebuild. So 626, that's pretty horrible, tap water. So you drink that and it's going to be eating you and making you fatter and older. Tap water. This is uh, Aquafina, that's uh, Pepsi's water. They sell more of this than Pepsi with no advertising. Everybody knows the water's wrong. They just don't know what to do about it. You can be the person to enlighten people. My vision of the world is we're going to spread this message and fix our country. We could live in a healthy country again. We don't have to be the last. We can be the healthiest. We just got to do it on our own. 488, Perrier, 559, Propel, that's Gatorade's supposed health thing. Look how horrible this is. 332, that's terrible. This must be going flat because fresh out of the thing, um, it's usually like 600, but it's lost its fizzy nastiness. Dasani, Coca-Cola's water. They sell more of this than Coke with no advertising. You ever see a Dasani commercial? Maybe one in a million. 464, Sprite, 520 something. Okay, again, if it was a one, it's bad. If it was a zero, it's giving you nothing. But these are in the hundreds of bad. So I always have people come up afterwards like, well, which one's the least bad? Because <laughs> they're planning on going with the least bad one for, until they can get people. Your life depends on making a good decision. You are wasting, no, you're aggressively spending money to kill yourself every day. You go to the grocery store and you're paying people to make you sick. How much are you spending to repair yourself? You're going to be sorry at the end. Go spend some time in a nursing home. You know what the number one thing you're going to hear? They can't wait to die. Please, Lord, take me. I'm suffering. You don't get to just die. People smoke and they're like, oh yeah, you got to die of something. No, 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 no. You're going to melt and suffer and fall apart one piece at a time. You don't get to just die. The lucky ones do. Most of us suffer and be a prisoner in their own crippled, depleted body. You got a chance right now to turn it around. All right. That's it. We're going to do the pH now. We're going to show you and... Uh, what if about you, the water? Did you do the yeah, I did that first. Do it again now. Okay, let me go get the fresh. No, this is the same one. All right, I'll do the same one. Remember that was 700 and something. Yeah, negative 700. Can we see it? 646. 682. I mean, it's going up. It's held pretty good. 
But fresh out of there, if I had let it sit in this long, it probably would have been like 780. So we're at like right at 700. So look, you already lost 80 millivolts of energy. You want it, you want it right, it pours. You're never gonna see me drinking old water. I go right to that machine, get out of my way, right off, glug. I don't even like to walk from there to here with it. When I'm working at my clinic, my wife says she'll bring some back to my room. I'm like, no, I don't want no old water. It's too hard to get it in. So uh, we had a lot of people ask, I can answer this in a few seconds. How do you get it in? You drink a quart at a time. I can do it in 14 seconds, okay? If you're a real wimp, maybe it takes you five minutes. So drink a quart, wait about a half hour. Drink another quart, wait a half hour. Drink another quart, wait a half hour. So in two hours, you got in your first gallon. Do that first thing of every day. If you have trouble doing that, if you have trouble swallowing water, should you be eating? <laughs> okay, so drink quarts at a time. Nurse it along. If you start to have two major, de now don't start that tomorrow. You're gonna detox too much, but work your way up to that. That's your goal. Then for breakfast, have a live nutrition shake. Put superfoods, blended uh, vegetables into a juice with this Kangen water and chug it down. That's gonna be instant nutrition to your blood and it's easy to digest. So then, half hour or an hour after breakfast, you can put in two more quarts. You got a gallon and a half before lunch. If you eat an easy to digest alkaline lunch like fresh vegetables, okay, then you're gonna digest that in about two to three hours. You're gonna get your next half gallon in before dinner. That'll be your two gallons. It's doable, anybody can do it, but it takes making yourself go to the machine and drink it. And when you first start doing it, all that acid you had stored everywhere, that's going to want to come out real fast. So it's going to make you have an urgency to go. I got to go, got to go, got to go. Knock, 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 knock. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. People get scared of that. They say, oh, I can't drink enough of that water. I have to go pee too often. You will only get well when you pee and poop and sweat and breathe out every bit of that acid toxin. So you gotta go through it. So the first couple of days, if you have to, if you're that weak, spend the day in the bathroom, on the toilet, and drink. <laughs> and just let it go. If you keep putting in alkaline, all the acid washes out, the urge will go back to normal. As soon as you neutralize all those acids, when it hits the bladder, it won't irritate it, and you'll say, yeah, I have to go, but I can wait a couple hours. I want to finish reading this book, okay? Any of you that have to go like that, that's because acid irritates that tissue, and it wants to come out now. That's why people can't hold diarrhea very long. It's very acidic. Well, the business side of this, ladies and gentlemen, you can just absorb all this information and go out and say, I've got to have this machine for my health. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this, and I'm not gonna tell anybody about it. Or, common sense says that when you get benefits from uh, using something, and you're, and you're feeling better, and everything else, usually, when your ancient Chinese proverb says, when you're bump, what you're full of is gonna spill out. So if you're uh, excited and you've got good health, and somebody says, "Wow, Charles, you're looking," I don't, I don't understand it. Some, something's different. You got a shine on your face, and you. You seem to be a little bit less in the tummy and things like that. What's going on? You seem to be uh, buzzing around. You've got more energy. You hear some of these testimonies. Uh, you're really, you're, you know, that brain fog that you talked about before is gone. What is happening? And you tell somebody, and then some things will start to happen. The business side of this, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to participate in. But if you enjoy the opportunity to help other people, you will see some amaz amazing things to happen. So uh, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner. I have been for 26 years. Some of my clients are, are actually in our room, in the room here today, and it's been a pleasure to help them with their finances, their wealth, and what a pleasure, what an excitement to be able to help people with their health now, because when you have your health and you've got wealth, you've got quite a package. Would you agree with that? Okay, so from a business standpoint, you, you can be a part of this. There's no sign-up fee, as you see on the screen right now. There are no monthly qualifications all sorts of things that you will see there. Uh, there's no quotas, you don't have to stock anything. I don't have a bunch of these in my garage and saying, oh boy, I sure hope this Saturday afternoon I can get rid of about 30 of these. 
No, it doesn't work that way. You only acquire this when you have a need for it and you recognize it and you order one from the person who invited you here today. And the company says thank you for referring someone else to this to help them with their help because that's the way it works. There's no advertising, zero advertising. And when you go on the internet, you see all those slam uh, ads and everything against this is because the competition is spending millions to try and discredit it so you will buy their machine. And Enagic says, nope, we're going to invest the monies that we would have spent in advertising. We're going to uh, pass that along as a thank you to the people who are telling their friends about it. So the way it works is this. You can pay for this machine. It's an investment of $3,980. This is the gold standard. They have one that is a bigger version that you can use in restaurants. They have some smaller sizes also. As Barry also has told you, this is the Cadillac, this is the Mercedes, the Rolls Royce version here, and this is the one that you would want to have if you possibly can because of all the bells and whistles, the power, the 230 watt motor that is there. However, if you decide to tell somebody, they, are, they will send a check out. So this is the way it would work. If you tell one friend, the person on your right or left perhaps, that, that uh, maybe you invited here, and they acquire this, they want this technology for use for their own health, and they said, I want to help my earth suit to be the healthiest I've ever been, and I want to reverse the aging process and all the things that Barry talked about. They're going to send you a check when it's paid for to $285. And then the people that they tell will be the same thing. They will get $285 as you tell her, you tell her, you tell her, and it kind of goes back and forth. It is direct sales. It is the entrepreneurial, the all-American way to do business, okay? And then as you get someone else, and don't worry about what you're seeing on the screen, the lanes going down, so to speak. All that may be Greek to you right now. If uh, this is something that appeals to you, we'll talk about it later. Uh, as you acquire, as you, you can give yourself a raise as you introduce it to several people. You go from 285 to 570, as you see on the screen. And then when you go from 10 units, SD501s or something else that they make, within your little organization and then you uh, uh, share it with another person then you go to what is called a 3a level we have some flyers over here and magic is even saying right now look this is a great time of year expose this to your friends we'll give you an extra thousand dollars when you go to the 3a level within two months very achievable there's some people in the room that are doing that right now and then when others come into the business and uh, let's say you go to 20 uh, sales and then what happens is you go to 855 and then you go further down there, you go uh, to 50 sales in your organization and that will result in you being a 5A. So why is that? Because we're helping people to improve their health. So as that happens, then, then the revenue that they will share with you, the thank you referral checks will be bigger. And then when you have 100 sales, you hit the first level of leadership, you're called a 6A in the business and it goes to $1,710. And then once you're at a 6A, um, as you can see from here, that continues to go out. And uh, again, no quotas or anything, and it just it doesn't start over every month. There are some other bonuses that come into play uh, that, that will happen over time. I won't go into detail. And basically, uh, you're, all you're doing is really sharing the story. You're having friends that will get up and give a testimony, and doing what Francis did, give a demonstration that has a five-year warranty on this, as you see it. The life expectancy is 15 to 20 years. Uh, I'm a numbers guy in the investments world, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's about 27 cents a day for myself and 27 cents a day for France. It's about 54 cents a day for the life expectancy. We used to spend a lot more than that on Aquafina alone, and uh, perhaps you have on some of the things that you have consumed also. So the ultimate big picture is this. It's come from Japan. Uh, it started uh, 36 years ago. Now it came to the U.S., it's gone across the U.S., and we're also now going around the world. Uh, so this is exciting. If this were to be a shareholder meeting, and a year from now we had uh, got back together, I tell you what, as I look out in the room, most of you would have an international uh, network of friends that you have shared this with, who they know somebody in Canada, in Europe, Germany, Australia, Hong Kong, wherever it may be, and uh, it just keeps growing. So that's the exciting thing. We, we invite you to choose health and choose life, a life giver from this machine. Thank you for watching this wonderful presentation that we've been able to give to you. 
And if you have further questions, you would like to know how you can get a hold of this wonderful health giving water system, please get in touch with the person that shared this DVD with you. Thank you again.